What's up and good morning, you guys. Just did, just got beats, and today I'm going to show you how I made this valley type beat using only a GarageBand Apple Loop sample in GarageBand iOS on the iPhone 8 Plus. So let's jump to it. First of all, what I did as I went through all the Apple Loops and just found a loop that I like the sound of, I used the uh, boss like chimes. All right, so I wanted to create like a different, unique sound. Um, make it kind of sound like it had that gross beat feel to it so I took it down like six semitones then I uh, reversed it and I slowed the uh, sample down and that's what I came out with and I like that and then after that I did my drums and all my other instrumentation next I grabbed another apple loop also took it down six semitones also reversed it and slowed it down or actually I didn't reverse this one I'm sorry I just slowed it down and took it down six semitones um, it was in the keys I was like call it high keys I believe is the name of this one so that's what I did for that one to kind of create like a break in the song next I created the 808 bass line I wanted it to be something hard but dark at the same time so I used the blooming bass and used um, just simple changes in the uh, keys and that's how I got the sound for the uh, bass or for the 808. Next I went into the uh, stock kits that they have. I used the 909 kick drum that they have in there and I kind of made it so it would follow along with the 808 bass but it wouldn't clash with it. And then I added some distortion to it just to give it a little bit more pump, more boom, you know what I'm saying? I knew as soon as I uh, started off using these loops and changing them up, I wanted to have two different kinds of uh, hats. So I used this weird hat that I got out the uh, Deep Tech kit, and it's just a basic one. Next, I went into another kit. I used the Dembo kit, and I added another hat underneath the uh, Deep Tech hat and they uh, kind of like crash every other third as well just to give it a little bit more vibe to the uh, whole beat and for the third and final hat I used the uh, electronic pop kit and used the hat in there and I just like the way that it sounded like the vibe of it added the like slight slight reverb to it just to give it a little bit more variation and I also changed the velocity on some of the uh, hits of the hat so that's how I created that sound Next, I went into the Modern CR 8000 kit. That's a newer kit that uh, Apple uh, put on there. And I used like that 80s kind of big kind of sound because I wanted it to be different. Next, I used the Modern 808 kit twice. I used it for the clap. And I also used it for the open hi-hat, the little ksh, you know, just to give it, like I said, a little bit more variation, a little bit more bounce to the beat. Since it's such a basic beat, I wanted to make sure it had enough bounce to it. So a modern 808 kit, the clap, and the uh, open hi-hat. Went to the modern 909 kit. And I used the uh, rim shot in that just to still create that kind of like trappish kind of vibe with the rims and stuff like that. So that's the sound you'll hear in the like undertone. So I know you guys, I told you I was only going to use three hats, but then I changed my mind. I wanted to add just a little bit more depth, a little bit more bounce to that so I went into the modern 909 kit and I used the hi-hat from there and I tweaked the sounds a little bit um, turned down the uh, high rain high end a little bit and the low end just to create a little bit more vibe to it so this is what I got we're gonna check this song out break it everything down for you guys and you know if you guys have any questions comments please rate like subscribe all that good stuff and let me know what my next video should be and I'm out